Pat, thanks for talking to us today. Um, we've taken on the, the big project of trying to uh, allow patients to be able to rate their hospitals. I want to get your point of view on that. Do you think patients should be able to rate their hospitals? So Ontario, the Ontario Hospital Association has a 15-year history of looking at uh, performance reporting, and, uh, and we uh, have developed some expertise over that time. When we first um, engaged with the CBC on this project, we thought it was another good opportunity to bring to the public um, uh, a view of how hospitals are doing. Uh, however, we have some significant concerns with the methodology that's been used at the end of the day uh, and, uh, and think that, in fact, there are um, significant enough concerns that, uh, that we should uh, be raising those publicly. So do you think that patients should be able to rate their hospitals? Well, certainly we include patient experience surveying in the work that we do and, uh, and have for many, many years included patient experience surveying in the work that we do. And so we do think it is important that, uh, that the patient voice come through strongly in hospital performance reporting. I think what we're concerned about is self-sampling uh, and anecdotes driving uh, decisions around, uh, around how care should be provided uh, when we're looking at actually a rating system. And the anecdotes you're referring to are which? Well, the surveying, as I understand it, that's been done has been, uh, has been self-selected. It's not on the basis of a randomized um, sample population. There's no standardization in terms of, of how the sampling is done. We think that that's um, uh, uh, potentially a challenge in terms of, of really coming through with, uh, with the evidence uh, in terms of coming up with an actual rating. Pa patients providing commentary on hospitals, um, pa CBC providing commentary on hospitals, that's all fair game. Uh, what, it, what we're concerned about is, is patients um, relying on this information to make decisions about when and how to access care uh, when it's not uh, necessarily grounded in, in good evidence. The information that's based on comes from the Canadian Institute for Health Information, which is information that comes from the hospitals. Do you consider that to be unverified and anecdotal information? Uh, we are um, uh, contributors and supporters of the Canadian Institute for Health Information and some of the work in the, in the scores do come from um, CIHI and no, we're not concerned about that data. We are, uh, have some concerns about how it's being used, um, but that's not the data we're concerned about. This is the surveying uh, of, of sources sorry, a surveying that's uh, been done in a non-standardized way, in a non-consistent way um, that we're concerned about. The information that was used for the, to rate the hospitals comes from five data measures that were from the Canadian Institute for Health Information. It has nothing to do with information from the CBC. It has nothing to do with anecdotal information. Do you have concern about the validity of that information that is being used currently by the Canadian Institute for Health Information? I think we have concerns about there being only five measures. Hospitals are very large, very complex organizations, and to be rating anything on the basis of only five measures is, is incomplete at best. Uh, and potentially misleading at worst. And so, uh, and so, yes, we do have concerns, not on the basis of the underlying data, but on the basis of the methodology that's used in terms of accessing only five indicators. But is the information you're saying anecdotal and un unverified, or do you think that this information is solid information? Uh, in information that comes from the Canadian Institute for Health Information is, is solid information. Okay, so we agree on that. Um, how do you think that there should be a way for Canadians to compare health information right across the country? So the Canadian Institute for Health Information has a My Hospital, uh, has the hospital reporting project. That is a way for Canadians to look at comparable data across the country uh, and to look at relative hospital performance across the country. And Kai High goes through a rigorous per, um, um, mechanism to try and ensure that the data is comparable because of course there are differences in the systems um, that are used in the different provinces. Um, so that is a one mechanism that patients can use. Do you think that there should be improvements on that to create something like a Dr. Foster website which currently exists in the UK which is means something that's being both led and directed by their federal government there? Uh, well, you need to appreciate the Kai High is also led led by uh, by the federal government. It's supported by taxpayers' dollars. So, so in one sense, Kai High is the Canadian equivalent uh, to it. Although there are aspects to uh, what's happening in the UK that we don't currently experience here. I think that's part of why we were um, interested in the CBC project because it brings a different uh, uh, approach to this work. Uh, and uh, uh, it's unfortunate we weren't able to partner to make this a, a more robust project. Something that we could all be, uh, be interested in supporting. Um, several, actually all the provinces came together to agree that they wouldn't release more information to make it a robust 
site, so we have that's the information that we have. Do you encourage provinces to release more information so we can create a more robust site? The hospitals in Ontario um, are, are big believers in transparency and accountability, and as I say, we have a 15-year history of supporting that. Uh, and so, uh, and so we uh, uh, encouraged in good faith our members to participate. We were disappointed, though, that the concerns we raised uh, around the methodology, around the approach, um, uh, wasn't an opening for ongoing dialogue about how to improve improve the offering. Do you believe that transparency can improve the health care system? Uh, we've been proving that for 15 years in terms of, of, uh, of the importance of transparency as one mechanism to help uh, drive performance improvement. But reporting alone is not enough. It needs to be backed up by robust quality improvement mechanisms and, uh, and continuous um, strategies, evidence-based strategies to support continuous development of the system. So but absolutely, public reporting is a component of that. So who should own that process of creating a national database that would be available for all Canadians? Well, I think that has evolved over time uh, in, the, in the history that we've had. So hospitals in Ontario took a leadership role in developing my hospital report. That's evolved over time, uh, and I'm going to comment most uh, particularly on the Ontario scene because that's what I know best, but that's evolved over time to standardize public reporting on a variety of measures that have been mandated by government, backed up by the work we've done on myhospitalcare.ca, and that's going to evolve again in terms of the uh, the changing healthcare environment. So I think there's lots of scope for people to play a role in this, uh, and uh, and that's why initially we we were uh, open to um, um, CBC's overtures in the in the initiative. What's available in Ontario is not available to many to people in many other provinces. So what we're trying to create here is information for all Canadians to be available for all Canadians. If we don't do that, who's going to do that? Well, the Canadian Institute for Health Information. Have you gone to the Canadian Institute for Health Information website? Uh, yes, we're well aware of. Uh, Have you tried to find, for example, infection rates in a hospital? Uh, no, because that's publicly available in Ontario through different but mechanisms. But not for all Canadians. I, I understand that. And so, yes, there's always improvements that can be made to reporting. Similarly, there's always improvements in quality that can be made. Um, and, uh, and that's, as I say, why we were interested in supporting the project when it, when it was initially undertaken. So do you think it's the role of the Canadian Institute for Health Information to become that centre? to make this information completely available for all Canadians from coast to coast? Well, certainly that is the taxpayer-supported um, 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 mechanism we have currently in place, uh, and uh, they are trying to move towards something that is more geared towards the public in terms of how they present their information uh, and, and provide that. Um, um, so I think they, they are one mechanism that could be explored more fully.